Well, good morning, everybody. Well, getting towards the end of April. Been staying down here at my sister's house in Apache Junction, Arizona. We have been uh, fortunate. Of course, some of you have already met my sister, Deb. And we are mooch docking on, in her driveway. So, uh, starting to get hot down here. It's hitting the 90s. Uh, Apache Junction is right outside of Phoenix. It's a suburb of Phoenix. So we have decided we're going to pack up today and we're going to head to the mountains. Because next week it's going to be 100 here. And we're all ready to go. Deb got her rig all serviced, oil changed, brakes checked. Getting ready for our adventure this summer. Headed to the northwest. Truck's ready to go. So we're going to wrap up everything here. Close up everything. And we're going to head up to Williams. Williams, Arizona, up down by the Grand Canyon. In fact, it's off of Highway 64. We're going to go up there. So Mr. Bentley, he's out here taking his morning walk. Got to be real careful. Believe it or not, we have seen more coyotes in this area than we have anywhere in our travels, even the desert. And they'll just walk right by you. They don't care. They're just so used to people. So anyway, I'm going to get packed up and get ready to go. So here we go. Getting ready for season nine. Some days here. Stop the madness. Start the adventure. Let's go. All right. Today we are... Today we're headed to Costco. We're getting our last provisions before we start season what, babe? Nine, right? Season nine. So season eight coming to an end, and we're picking up with season nine. So as you can see, we got the lines. They got the big queue. We're gonna go get in line. We've already been to Costco once. And we're going to get a last few things and stop the Walmart before we get out of here. Because there's some things we can't buy between here and uh, Washington State, which is our intended place to stop. So we're going to pick a few more things up, babe? Got to get a few more things. Yep. And then we headed off to North Arizona because here in Phoenix it's going to hit almost 100 degrees this week, so it's time to leave the low desert. That so, is true. So it looks like everything's run smooth here. Last time we came, we got through the queue pretty fast. So uh, I think we'll be all right. So, good Lord willing, we'll pull out tomorrow. Put on fuel, we'll get propane, stop at doing a last minute Walmart, any meds we need. And things will be good. We say Mr. Bentley. What do you say, Mr. Bentley B? You out here today? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's out enjoying the morning. We've had a friend come up here and try to make a nest up in the pin box. Little bird started making a nest, so I had to block it off because I didn't want him to get it made up in there. Then we decided to leave and there's an egg in there. So hopefully he'll find another place to uh, start his home. But uh, Deb's over here. We got Jim and Deb there, life is a joy. Bobby and Sharon up there, the nomadic ramblers. We got Shirley here following the Yellow Brick Road. Check out their channels, do some good YouTube videos, Instagrams. But we're just out here this morning. The wind has finally let down. It's just been a windy, windy season this year in Arizona. But uh, we're sitting out here on some for, on a forest road. 
good bit of people out here to be honest with you we are just off highway 64 which is right over there and uh, interstate 40 is over there so the Grand Canyon will be right over there so we thought we'd come here spend some time wait for it to warm up a little bit so we can go far north to get up to season nine we're gonna we'll get up to utah and wyoming and idaho and we're gonna take you there with us so if, if you'd like to see some of those views some of those travels make sure you subscribe hit the like button if you would be so kind leave a comment where do you want us to see to go we'll be going up through utah hopefully through uh, Yellowstone and the Tetons if they open it up. All depends on what the states and the government do. But we're going to give it a try. But we're, everybody's out here getting solar. We, we do really good on solar out here this time of year. We haven't run our generator for a while. Unless, of course, Kim's cooking. Or uh, the hairdryer needs to come on. But it's all good. There's a little there's a little barker over there. Everybody's got their dogs enjoying a good morning. Little little crisp up here. It's still a little cool in the morning, upper thirties. Lower thirties, but the afternoons are nice at 70, around 70. It's gonna get better as the week goes on. Just as long as the wind stays down. But uh the uh, internet's not too bad out here. And uh, we'll show you a little bit later. We're going to get the grill out. We're going to cook a little bit today. But we're out here having a great time, man. Enjoying the RVs. Living full time. And traveling across America. Well, friends. We're out for a little hike today. Up off one of these four service roads. Uh, we came in on... Uh, Garland Prairie Road. Yep, we are camping at Garland Prairie Road. This is really the first right-hand turn 64. as you're coming up 64, yeah, right off Interstate 40. So it's not hard to find you, but you can drive by it if you go too fast. And it's, it's in Williams. Yeah, it's probably what up, how far up the road? One, about two miles up the road 1. From, 9, it said. from Interstate 40. On the right. But maybe you can hear um, the wind's been blowing pretty good. And it's blowing right now, so hopefully this uh, wind muff will work. But we're just out enjoying a day. It's, I don't know, 70 degrees right now. We're just out taking the dogs for a walk. Nice come across and quiet. this nice little pond. I mean, it's just beautiful. We haven't seen any critters yet. We've seen a lot of tracks. We don't know if they're cows or elk or what, but they're pretty good size. Yeah, they are. Saw some horse tracks, so some maybe somebody's up here riding. But uh, you can probably see there's a lot of the trees that are marked orange all over the place so i don't know if they plan on coming in here and cutting some of the bigger trees out thinning it out but they got something going on they don't look dead uh -uh. so i'm assuming they're going to come in here and thin some stuff out which is good we need to thin our, some of our forests out and uh, maintain our uh, national forest we just can't let everything grow and grow and grow it's just going to be a fire danger but man, this is beautiful. We're just sitting down, taking a break, uh, just enjoying, enjoying a great day. We're RVing. We're living full time in our RV, in our fifth wheel. We're doing what we want to do, even when we want to do it. <laughs> when we want to do it, even during the coronavirus. So that's right. There's hopefully. nobody out here, really. No, nope. few people camping. Showed you that earlier. Yeah. Uh, as far as going out and walking, we haven't, we haven't ran into one person. Yeah, we've got some bluebirds trying to nest. Up in our uh, fifth wheel, I'm going to try to get them on film. That bluebird is absolutely beautiful. I've yeah. never seen them one. It's a vibrant color. It's yeah, blue. It's, it's just beautiful. But uh, just waiting for the parks to open up, hopefully May 1st. Today's, what, about the 25th, I think? Yeah. The bugs haven't been bad, so there's no problem there. Maybe it's because of the wind uh, keeping them at bay. But, boy, I tell you, this just... Something else all around here. This is the first time we've been in trees since December 6th. And it's such a nice... 2019. So we've been in the desert for a long time. And we really love our water. And we really love our green trees. Looking So looking forward 
to this year's adventure. And like we've said before, um, we're going to go a lot of places. Uh, Utah, uh, Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. So if you got any ideas of where to go up there, some BLM land, some camping that's not off too far off the beaten path, we sure wish you'd share it with us. We found a bunch of places. Yep. We're, we're going to check a few of them out, and we'll share them with you. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Well, I guess we better get up time and to get to stepping burn again. some more calories because uh, this isn't too bad of a grade up and down. We're about 7,000 feet, and I can feel it in my lungs. I'm breathing pretty heavy. As you most of you know, my lungs aren't that good anyway. So, But uh, no alligators, no cotton mouse. I hope not. <laughs> no copperheads, so Kim feels safe here. All right, let's get going. Back up the hill. <laughs> 